Hey everybody, it's John from the Gloucester Library, and for today's Let's Draw, let's draw a blue crab. Alright, let's get started. So I'm going to start with the shell, and I'm going to draw it from a top view, and the very bottom of the shell, I'm going to start there. This is kind of like a little shape like that. It's curving up a little bit on the ends, and then they come up to little points like that that one a little longer and then there's like a little um, part in the shell it kind of shows the shows like a little bit of texture in the shell and I kind of use that as a guide for how big I need to make my shell so I have that come across like that and then another one that kind of comes up like this and you just draw these lines very thin. You don't want them to be as thick as the rest, or very lightly, very lightly, depending on what you're using. If you can get a thick or thin line, do that, but if you can only get light or dark, just do these ones more uh, lightly than the others. And then we have a little shape here and here in the shell. And little shapes like that there. And then we have little, um, the shell that curves across the front has little spikes in it. So I'm going to start with like the, the middle spike, just so I have a, something to guide me. And then we have one here and one here. So try to do one on each side as you're going along so you make sure you get the same number on both. It can look a little bit funny if you got a different number on each. Then do a bigger one. A bigger one, and then it kind of curves up into the next one, curve up into the next one, and then I'm going to do uh, seven little ones on each side, so you can count those out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And now I'm going to draw the um, eyes that are poking out here, right in the um, section here with a little bit of uh, extra space between them. Just come out like this. There we go. And on the ends, there's the little eye part. I'm going to kind of color that in, leaving just a little white spot open to show where there's some light hitting the eye and this makes it shiny and then I'm going to do the little uh, feelers that come out here and they come out right about here on the shell so I kind of start them off thin and then push down harder or if you're working with a pencil same thing kind of start off light and then push down harder make them dark as you go into the shell all right, now I might not have left myself enough room up here for my claws. So try to make sure you draw this, you know, fairly small in your paper so you leave enough room for all the rest. If you don't, it's okay. It's okay if some things hang off. Now I'm on a computer, so I can kind of cheat. And I can move my shell down a little bit to give me more space for my claws and my legs. But again, it's okay if you can't fit them on there, or you can try again on a new sheet of paper. This is the third try for me. I already messed up twice. Um, so now I'm going to do the front claws, and um, I'm going to start with this left one here. So there is one segment here. There's one, two, three little uh, spikes on it. And it comes around to there. And the same thing on this side. Come up one, two, three spikes. Have it come around to there. And then it has another segment on each side. And I'm going to try to do that going back and forth, do one side then the other with each step so we don't lose any segments or parts. So that one's like that shape of a little point there. Same here. 
there we go and then we're getting to the the claw part and that's going to have a little point there and curve up and then down I put some bumps in here for the ridges inside of the bottom of the claw bring it around and connect it I'm going to do like a little line there just to show that it's kind of bumped up here kind of it's all very curved here but then less so as it comes out there and same thing for this side let's have it come up with a little point and then across and then down and some ridges and then up have it meet there all right and I'm going to do the top part the part that actually moves when they pinch have that come up curve up like that and then curve back in same thing with this one up and back in there we go all right and now I'm going to do the legs and I'm going to do um, one two three and four one two three and four so let's do the first set here and these ones are skinny so it's going to, the first segment's going to come out like that and then the next segment comes out like that and then another and then one more little one that comes to a point. Same thing with this side. One. And another two. Three. And one that comes out like a point. There we go. And then I'm going to do the next set over here. And that one's going to be one. And I, I kind of did it differently than I said. Oops, that got deleted. Differently than I said I was going to do. So I was going to do one section and then back and forth. So I can do that too. I meant to do that with these ones, but I didn't. So I'm going to do um, this next one here. And then another one. Like that. And another one. And another one coming down a little bit. And coming down a bit. There we go. And then the last one coming to a point. And to a point. All right. And then one more very thin leg on the back. It's going to come out like this. And... There's like some some parts there in the joint that I'm drawing some bumps and some lines to show where it can actually move. These parts are covered by the shell. Same thing over here. There we go. And then the next part coming out and down like that. And another. And one more down to a little point. There we go. And I'm going to do the back legs. And they're a different shape than these long skinny ones. They're going to come down. You have a segment here with the joint part on it. Right here and do some lines. Same thing over here. And then a segment like that on each side. And then another that's a little bit smaller than that last one. And then that one goes into ones a little bigger. Like that. And 
there we go and then one more on each comes inward a little bit of a point I'm going to do some lines just to show how oh, there's a little texture in there same with this one comes in and some lines there all right and there is our blue crab now I'm going to go in and add just a little bit of color so the top of it's kind of like a green blue color it's rather dark there we go just about there about like that and I'm gonna kind of paint it in and go ahead and color it with whatever you have uh, you know color pencils crayons if you're working with paint um, on here what I'm doing is uh, I push harder when I want it to be darker and I go lighter when I want it to be lighter I can change my size and I'm going to go back in after I'm doing this and blend it a little bit but if you're working with uh, you know pencil or uh, crayons you're going to have to just uh, color more lightly for the lighter parts just not as much pressure and then um, I'm going to use some of that same color there it's very dark so I'm going to do that just to make sure that you can see how dark it is when I blend it. There we go. There's a little bit of it in uh, these claws and the arms up here. There we go. And then the top there. The pinchers. And a little bit on these sections on the back there we go all right and then th th there's going to be some uh, pretty blue I'll put some pretty blue in there that's why it's the blue crab there we go and that'll be in like here on this claw on this claw Oh, and in here, there we go, and on the legs, it's kind of darker at the tip, and then gets lighter as you go in, it's like a very, very light blue, same here, darker, and lighter, and the same on these ones. Alright, getting all those colors put in. It looks kind of messy now, but it'll look a little bit better when I blend it. Where when you're doing it with the crayon and uh, color pencils and other things, you kind of have to do it full filled in as you go where I'm just kind of blending it in kind of like how color, uh, watercolors are going to work I um like when you use watercolor pencils which I use a lot I uh, color in like this and then I'll go back in with my brush my wet brush and blend it in so that's kind of why I think I like this brush it reminds me of my watercolor pencils all right we're almost ready to blend it in there we go I'm going to go in here and grab my blending tool. There we go. And you can try your best to stay in the lines. You, if um, you mess up though, it's okay. I go outside of lines a lot of times and it's okay a little bit. It just takes practice. Alright, that's blended in pretty good. Do these claws here. Alright, I think after this I uh, might do a little bit of sand. I'll have my 
my crab on the sand. There we go, it's there. Alright. There we go, I think that worked out pretty well. Now let me do some sand. And they do have like a little bit of orangish too, around like um, the joints. And I should probably put that in there too. That is like an important part of their coloring. Let me put a little bit of that in. Just kind of on the inside of the legs, the joints. Ooh, I'm putting it in the wrong spot. So now I'm, I'm undoing my steps and going back to here because I want it to blend well. There we go. There we go. Because I'm going to go back in and blend a little bit more, I think. Not too much, though. We're just adding the edges where it's on the edges. All right, and on the tips there. Just a little bit more blending. I'm not gonna do as much as I did before. Just a little bit of blending them in. Alright. Just a little bit. There we go. Alright, and now I'm gonna do that sand we were talking about. And it's just going to be simple. I'm just going to pick a, a tan color, yellowish tan color to be my sand. And I'm just going to block it in really big around it. back in and blend it like I did with the uh, the rest of the crab just a bit that's it there's our blue crab in the sand all right i hope you enjoyed today's let's draw and i hope to see you next time